Yeah, so, you know, it was probably pretty tough hearing that the Olympics were going to be postponed um, from this year to next year. Uh, where were you when that, when you heard about this and like, what was your reaction to the Olympics being postponed? Because you were supposed to play, weren't you? Yeah. Um, so I was, I had permission from the Cubs when I signed, um, to play in the Olympics and that's a commitment they said they're still going to honor for 2021, unless I'm lucky enough and I'm pitching in the big leagues then, then I won't be able to, um, so I, I was that that hurt. Um, I will say, like being with my brother in spring training and even now is an amazing distraction to like not be alone or I don't know, situations could be way worse. Um, but I mean, it started with obviously spring training getting cut short, not at the time realizing that it was most likely going to take our full season away. Um, so that was hard enough to deal with. And then shortly after to have the Olympics move back, because I really was in denial about that. Um while also understanding the reality of the situation, um, that, that hurt. I mean, that, that was like a few days week long where it was like everything you did, that idea lingered every ounce of training you do like that ideas in the back of your mind. And like, not that it held me back, but it like makes it a little bit harder on that given day to like do what you need to do. So it's something that has really bothered me. Um, and you guys are catching it on a tough day because I don't know if you heard the news today, but it's, looking like the world baseball classic is now being moved to 2023 and i was supposed yeah. to be with the olympics being moved back and there potentially being no minor league season this year my first baseball would most likely be since since australia my first thing would be the wbc in 2021 with israel i'm supposed to be on that team and now it's looking like that's getting moved to 2023 also so honestly all this stuff is it's it hits hard i mean because for me it's like i've i thought i've should have gotten the opportunity at other times in years past. And I'm so thankful to have the opportunity now to be with a, an organization, um, to be with the Cubs, but then to have like the C's, the affiliate ball, like your chance to work your way up Olympics and WC, like all cancel within like an eight week period. Like it's, it's not sitting well. I mean, it doesn't yeah. affect my day to day work, but it's, it's, it hits hard. It hits close to home. Yeah. And yeah, not that now will that, so it's moving it to 2023, will that hinder the people on the team and the players on the team, or is that going to um, everyone's going to stay? I mean, there's there's so much unknown. I don't know. I mean, moving the Olympics could potentially change things. Um, like we added last minute, we added Ian Kinsler for 2020. Oh wow! If that if it was happening in two months, he got his citizenship in time. But now that this is pushed back another year, this might open up the door for more guys. Um, yeah. so, but the team dynamic, the WBC team for 2021 was not like fully chosen. I was just like told that I'm going to be on it just as someone on the Olympic team who had success and through a lot of high leverage innings, like I earned myself a spot for the WBC. And I mean, for me, it's nice that I guess long term I can hopefully see myself in baseball through 2024, 25, maybe more. I mean, I, I very much plan on being a part of that WBC team. So I'm going to do everything I can in my power to participate in the Olympics next year and then WBC and whenever it happens. And not, oh, not I didn't that even this, know Ian Kinsley. Sorry, go right. Not, not that this <laughs> no, is more, yeah. not that this is more important than actually playing in the Olympics, but just like the location, like Japan, that's like such an awesome place to play baseball. I know. Yeah. Japan seems the atmosphere is yeah I mean a lot I know a lot of guys that were on the WBC team in 17 so like they got to play in Korea where the whole stadium was packed for BP and like they're chanting for players during batting practice <laughs> whatever it is like the experience was from the WBC in 17 was supposed to be incredible we were supposed to play in Yokohama Stadium which is like 20 30 minutes outside of Tokyo yeah. they're using the dome for other sports but like every game sold out like we only, we barely get any tickets like we were going to play in front of so many people like on the world's biggest stage so it's i mean it, hopefully it's still all going to happen next year but uh, yeah yeah it's tough